Washington. Well, today they staged a protest outside a luxury hotel demanding help from lawmakers. WGN Sean Lewis reports. More than a year since the start of the pandemic. A call to keep jobs safe for laid off hotel workers outside the Four Seasons Hotel downtown. Among them is Melvin Tate. I started working there about 18 years ago. When the pandemic hit, they called me and they fired me. Thousands of hotel workers in Chicago are still without those jobs. The demonstration outside the Four Seasons comes as it reopens. Workers have a real fear that, you know, after working for 10, 20 years at some of these hotels and other businesses, that they won't be called back once those businesses start reopening in a larger scale. Right now, 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez is among a few in Chicago City Council pushing an ordinance to protect laid off workers, putting them ahead of any new employees when hiring starts again. I think it only makes sense that our original employees get the opportunity, if they wish to go back to their old employers, have the chance to do so. If it wasn't for the pandemic, they never would have stopped working, and I think they deserve a chance to go back. The ordinance in Chicago, much like one passed last year in Los Angeles. Federal lawmakers are also looking at tying this issue to the businesses that have been taking PPP loans and other federal assistance during lockdown. You know, there's a very real sense that some businesses are not going to hire back their most senior employees because it'll give them a chance to reduce their employee overhead. We want to make sure that with this ordinance, that the discussion is there that any worker that was there whose life was hit, put on pause because of the pandemic is there when we start playing again. For workers here, it is a sign of hope that as we near a more open economy, their personal budgets will also be helped. So when the guests come back, we come back. It's nothing personal. We just want our jobs right. In the Gold Coast, Sean Lewis, WGN News.